Billy, you've been out on the, the doorsteps out canvassing. What are the big issues for people in Newcastle, people across South Down um, in this election? And what is it you're going to do for them if you get elected? Well, I suppose the, there's three major issues I would see um, is uh, unemployment um, and our young people having to leave uh, the island of Ireland uh, and go elsewhere to, to get an income. Um, a lot of people from rural areas and urban areas are going to the likes of Australia to start a new life. Um, obviously, that will have a detrimental impact on local communities, uh, particularly GAA clubs uh, and other sporting clubs. It will have an impact, obviously, on schools in the longer term, rural schools. You know, so and that's it's also a brain drain. You know, you, you're investing a lot in young people, uh, and then they they have to leave these shores. You know, um, the other one, again, touching on is the economy and uh, to grow the economy coming out of recession. Um, a lot of people unemployed again. Um, the the point uh, about recreation um, is coming up on the doors, and I think it's just relevant because it's in the newspapers at the minute. Uh, on a local level, um, people want to see the building of a new leisure centre in, in Newcastle, uh, as they do in, in the other main towns, in, in Downpatrick, Ballina Hinch. Um, so th they're the main issues uh, at the minute that's, that's facing us. Uh, uh, a more generic issue uh, is uh, healthcare uh, and the downgrading of the Down Hospital uh, is a big issue on the doors and obviously we, we need to ensure that we, all political parties, and there is agreement from all political parties that we make it a priority and we don't make it a political football and that we do our best uh, to, to guarantee them service. These days are Sinn Féin left wing or right wing? Sometimes people find it hard to, to know these days and for instance the, the corporation tax issue, Sinn Féin are in favour of reduction corporation tax which will benefit business and uh, but will likely lead to a, a drop in the, the, the grant from Westminster and, and, and therefore less money to spend on public services. Where does that leave Sinn Féin in terms of uh, you know, left-right policies? Um, well, well, Sinn Féin is a left-wing party. Um, I, I think that's clearly demonstrated by our actions um, while in government. Um, we, we, we have uh, proven that we, we care about communities, uh, particularly uh, working-class communities, uh, vulnerable groups, um, while other people shy away from uh, these issues. I think Sinn Féin tackle them head-on. I think the biggest issue is uh, fiscal powers uh, in the north. Uh, we don't have, uh, you know, the powers or authority uh, to, to make the decisions that's needed on the on the ground. We, you talk about corporation tax. Um, we, we we argued from the very uh, outset. Mitch McLaughlin took a motion to the assembly chamber in regards to uh, taking uh, full fiscal powers uh, onto the island of Ireland in the north uh, to make changes in relation to VAT to make the decisions in relation to. Uh, fuel duty, uh, things that could make a real difference to people's lives, uh, particularly in small businesses, particularly in the construction industry, um, particularly just in, in general life. Uh, people uh, cannot afford to run their cars. Um, they, they, can't, uh, they can't afford um, to, to put food on their table. You know? So from that point of view, um, Sinn Féin needs the powers. We need the tools and able to deliver. Okay. Um, just locally in terms of the, the election here, Sinn Féin are putting up three candidates, yourself, mm -hmm. uh, outgoing Education Minister Katrina Ruan and the, the relative newcomer Naomi Bailey. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking at the past, voting patterns would say that Sinn Féin probably has two quotas, maybe just slightly above two quotas. Mm -hmm. So it looks like one of you is going to lose out there. Who's it going to be, you, Katrina or Naomi? Well, obviously the electoral to say that, you know, which one um, may lose out. Um, we have about 2.2 .2 of a quota. Um, and we, we hope by the work that we've done on the ground that we will... Uh, uh, enhance that quota. Um, I think uh, the, the broad uh, work that Sinn Féin are doing um, will pay dividends uh, by going into government uh, with the DUP, by making Stormont work. A lot of uh, people, uh, hurlers from the ditch, uh, were saying that uh, it would never last, uh, it would fall, we could never do business together. And we, I think we've proven to the people that we can do business. Um, Who will fall? The electoral will decide that. Okay, I mean, some would say that you're hedging your bets, uh, you're going for uh, a job in the assembly, you're also going for a council seat, uh, as you have at the minute. You have the, the, the two roles, the two jobs. Um, you've said though that you'll step down from one um, after the election, but you'll only decide which one after the election. Isn't that a tad unfair on the electorate? They're 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 voting for you for two jobs, um, but actually they're they're not going to have you in one of those jobs if, if indeed you're successful. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit chicken and egg, isn't it? Um, 
if I did run for the just one of the seats, if I ran for the assembly and, and wasn't successful, then I wouldn't be in public office. And I think I would be doing a disservice to the people of, of my uh, constituency. I, I think I have a good, uh, I think I've a good positive role in, re, in regards to the community in general. I got in, involved in politics probably uh, to help communities, to help vulnerable people, um, to help working class uh, estates. Um, where I, did, I didn't think they had a voice. And so it's very important to me that aspect of, of politics is working for the community uh, on, a, on a grassroots level, uh, basically being on the ground. I enjoyed legislation as well. Um, I was on a couple of um, uh, committees that dealt with some very important bills, particularly the planning bill, which will have a massive impact on, on, on communities in general. I also enjoyed working on the forestry bill, was another um, and also the welfare animals bill were very interesting uh, bills and, and very interesting pieces of, of work. Uh, I, I don't think the public generally see the difference in the roles. Um, so it will be a very, very difficult decision for me to take. Um, if, you, if, you, if, if you're fortunate enough to be elected into both, presumably it'll be the, the council seat that you'll drop and you'll keep the assembly role. As I say, I, I, only the people can decide that. If I'm fortunate enough to be elected into you know, two... Um, uh, positions. I will then decide seriously. I will seriously look at both positions, and um, which I will benefit uh, the local constituency 